Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day to all my students. Okay, today you are going to learn about how can you do an inverse Laplace transform using first shifting property. Okay, so this is first shifting property. If you can recall the Laplace transform of first shifting property, it's Laplace of exponent a t f t equals to f s minus a. Therefore, the inverse Laplace of f s minus a is equals to exponent a t. The inverse Laplace of f s and equals to exponent a t f t. Okay, look at the steps of how can you perform the first shifting property. Step one, you're going to determine a based on the equation given. Step two, you're going to shift f s minus a to f s. Step three. Inverse Laplace of Fs to obtain Ft. And the last step is you can write down the answer of inverse Laplace Fs minus A equals to exponent A T Ft. Okay, let's solve a few examples. We'll change this to pen. Right. Okay, we have example 1, inverse Laplace of 5 over S plus 3 over 4. Okay, so based on this uh, equation, we know that A is equals to minus 3. So therefore, this is equal to inverse Laplace of F S plus 3. And this is equal to, since A equals to minus 3, so this is equal to exponent minus 3T Ft. So our aim here is to find what is Ft. I'm going to write down, okay, sorry. Okay, I'm going to write down Fs plus Three equals to five over s plus three to the power of four. So we have to make sure that before we can do a shifting, okay, we can we can sh uh, shift the equation to f s. We have to make sure that the equation is in the form of uh, s plus three. All right, so you can see that this is s plus three in the right hand side. Also, is in the form of s plus three. Then we can simply shift. Okay, fs equals to five over s to the power of four. Okay, then the ft is equals to the inverse Laplace of fs, and this is equal to the inverse Laplace of 5 over s to the power of 4 and okay from the Laplace transform uh, table we know that the inverse Laplace of 5 over s to the power of 4 is equals to 5 over 6 inverse Laplace of uh, 6 over s 4 and this is equals to 5 on 6 t to the power of 3 okay so therefore the answer of inverse Laplace of 5 s plus 3 to the power of 4 this is equals to exponent minus 3 t and we have 5 on 6 uh, t q all right so you can check your answer by just simply uh, performing the Laplace transform of the answer and we have to make sure that the answer is similar to 5 over s plus 3 to the power of 4 okay so let's move to the second question we have 4 over s minus 1 squared plus 4 all right so based on the equation a equals to 1 therefore this is equals to uh, exponent t f t so f s minus 1 
is equals to 4 over s minus 1 squared plus 4. So you can just simply shift because you can see that the f, the sorry, the s is in this similar form. We have s minus 1 here and then in the right uh, uh, equation also we see is s minus 1. So you can just simply shift to fs. We just, just need to change the s minus 1 to s then get 4 over s squared plus 4. Then ft is equals to the inverse Laplace of 4 over s squared plus 4 and this is equals to 2 sine 2t. Therefore the inverse Laplace of 4 over s minus 1 squared plus 4 is equals to 2 exponent t sine 2t alright ok uh, this is another example of uh, uh, the given function ft is a sine function ok I will give you another example and you can see that it's obviously a cosine function ok so again based on from the equation we know that a equals to minus 2 how do I know it a equals to minus 2 we are going to look at uh, the term of s plus 2 here we know that a equals to minus 2 so this is equals to exponent minus 2t ft so our aim here is to find ft uh, then f s plus 2 is equals to s over s plus 2 squared plus 9 alright but before uh, we shift the equation to fs so we have to make sure that the term of s is in the similar term as s plus 2 okay we don't have problem in the lower side of the equation okay but we we, we can see that in the upper side of the equation we only has uh, s okay so we can just simply uh, modify it okay by when the let s equals to s plus 2 minus 2 okay so you don't have to uh, modify the lower side of the equation because it's already in the form of s plus 2 okay so we're going to do this in the upper side of the equation s plus 2 minus 2 so divide by s plus 2 squared plus 9 so you can see that uh, both term of s is in the form of s plus 2 so we can just simply shift fs is equals to s minus 2 divided by s squared plus 9 and you can just uh, separate the equation all right uh, so ft is equals to the inverse laplace of s over s squared plus 9 minus the inverse laplace of 2 over s squared plus 9 and this is equals to cos 3t k minus 2 over 3 sine 3t okay then we have to substitute the answer uh, of ft into here so s minus minus 2t cos 3t minus 2 on 3 sine 3t so this is the final answer all right guys hope you enjoyed the explanation and the discussion uh, of uh, first shifting property okay uh, then you can try to answer the questions in the tutorial thank you so much i'll see you again soon